Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday, April 3rd, 2024. Got a little bit of red coming in again. NASDAQ is the weakest, down half a percent. S&P down a, thir a third of a percent. Dow is down 60 points. It's the strongest. Tesla continuing to take a beating. Tesla's been uh, one of the stocks that's really been struggling the last few months. Not much in the green whatsoever. Got in one mighty 90 yesterday. Yesterday was kind of an odd morning. So hopefully now we can get a few more setups today. And today trading the two days to expiration option chain. Gonna try once again right out of the gates to get in the NDX trade that uh Steve has in his trade plan. That will ring here in about 20 seconds. There is the bell. Meta starts out green. So stocks, uh, some are pushing up right out of the gates here. Just based on history, I thought maybe we stocks would be up this morning given the down day yesterday, but not the case. All right, I got Phil on the NDX trade.
AMD pushing up. A lot of stocks have gone green now. Meta up about three quarters of a percent. AMT really pushing up. Get our second bar here. We will look for some volume runners. It's been a while since I've gotten into a good volume runner. Mix up three and a third percent. Roku, getting a volume bar that looks it 
should get as big as the first. Roku's come all the way down to like 61 points or $61. It, it was, uh, yeah, it was close to a hundred, not too long ago. So Roku looks like it's going to get a bar as big as the first. Let's pop it up a little bit. Two DTEs. Man, cheap options. There we go, trying to get filled here. At a dollar. A little bit of buck. Yep, 62 puts filled at a buck, and ooh, now it's popped up. I don't want that to turn green. How much time we got left? 30 seconds? Ah, just turned green. All right, closing my Roku. Build at 93 cents. Yeah, I, with everything else pushing up, I just, man, that flipped really quick. And it still may come back, back down, but I don't. You know, when it was popping up, like, that's a good time to get in and as long as it stays weak. I don't see any other volume bars. Yeah, now it comes back down. So small loser. I mean, just following the rules. So we'll look for some mighty 90s. Walt, I'm getting an error that an order was rejected because it exceeded day trade buying power. You probably have something incorrect. I just cancel it and re-enter it. Whatever it is you're trading, I'm not sure what strategy you're trading, but Dow down eighteen, Nasdaq down sixty three, uh, fifty three, S and P down three.
Mix still up three and a third. So we're looking for a bar bigger than the previous in the same direction for a mighty 90, not bigger than the first. Nothing here, nothing there. You've got like three screens that have all my top stocks. So I can only share one with you guys. Yeah, we're okay coming back down. Uh, Walt. So can I can't place more trades? Say, um, I mean, it's not, I'm not really sure what you're trading, what strategies, what broker you're using. I mean, I, I would I would contact your broker if something's if you're getting a message from your broker, it would be they would be the ones to go to. Yeah, don't not much separation in Apple. Uh, John K, I, I scan just by having a, you know. Pages like this where I can look at six at a time. Yeah, so uh, Chris mentioned Mighty 90. You can see here there's just barely separation i want to see significant separation there for a mighty 90 Mix coming down. Roku did come down. VIX at just above 15. Things have been kind of choppy, right? Out of the gates.
And you pushing highs of day. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really. For these strategies, I don't really. It doesn't really bother me if people are speaking or if there's news. Unless it's something major like a jobs report or um, inflation report, something major. Well, then I'll be a little more careful. I've got a little, I've gotten a little, I've got some theta decay on my NDX trade. Square coming down, might have a mighty 90. Mighty 90 long. All right. So square. Just tap, you got 30 seconds. I don't think that bar is going to get as big as the first. Yeah, I'm just kind of waiting here before getting in. Didn't get as big as the first. So 77 calls in square. Go to the buck 90. So I will get out of half my square at 210. And you can kind of see here, uh, square, how it's got, uh, you know, that's got the volume separation there, volume pop. Roku did come down more and <clears throat> would have been a nice winner. But oh, the rules. I've, I've been in that situation where it's flipped colors in the last 30 seconds and then it, you know, it went in that direction. It went against me. And you pushing highs of day. Roku got a big red bar now. I'm going to stay away from it. It's not going to get me again.
Square trying to give us one green bar. Build at 210 to close half square. Oh, nice push up in square. I get out of another square here. Filled at 225. Close a quarter of square. So definitely going to get a green bar here. Anything else? Netflix just chopping. MU looks like it has a big volume bar to the upside. Back a little bit. Let me take a look at MU. CMU one twenty four calls. Go to two oh seven. And I would close half at two twenty seven. And you can definitely get a better fill than I got. I put an order in at 240 to get out of another square. Where come or am you coming down? I don't necessarily like where it's going. It's to hold. Put M U in here. That definitely could have got a better fill than me. I was. I jumped in. I didn't want it to take off on me and miss it. So there's a good example. Sometimes I get better fills. Sometimes you guys do. DJT, I've never heard of that, Ken. True social, huh? Didn't even know they had a stock. Uh, Square trying to give us a second green bar. Micron coming down. Let's 
see it hold there. I could add to my micron, but it's kind of right at my point where I would bail on it. I'm going to add to it. And if it goes through this pivot, then I'll bail. So there's a buck 80 to add to MU. Yeah, so this pivot, if it goes through it, then I would just bail on it. It's got one minute. So I'm definitely going to let, let this bar finish and then see what it does. Although I don't like where it's heading. Yeah, so square is going to give us a second green bar, so I'll be closing that. So the 233, close square, uh, square. Oh, I'm sorry, 230. Yeah, 233. And look at it. Oh, I closed it. Wow. Oopsies. Look at that. Oh, man. I'll close half my MU at... 205. Dang it. <laughs> well, I followed the rules, but just when it, I closed it right before the bar ended, it just shot up. <laughs> Go figure. Hopefully some of you, hopefully some of you got into that. Uh, filled at 205 to close half my MU as well. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's up to about 275 now, Square is. <laughs> that would have been something else. Close another MU at 225. Man, square. <laughs> it's been a while since I've caught something like that. Built at 225 to close a quarter of MU. Yeah, could have gone the other way. It's true. Yep. Sometimes you get lucky. Holy Nasdaq. Holy Vol Crush.
I'm glad I was at least long Micron. <laughs> SPX firing up. Oh man, everything's pretty much everything's green now. Apple, get a little mighty 90. Square with a mighty 90 short. Microsoft potential green bar. Uh, Microsoft potential green bar upside volume runner. Nvidia potential upside volume runner. And if Apple can push back up, that would get short on this mighty 90. Apple, I would trade the 125 puts. Go to two bucks in Apple. Oh, that's the wrong... Oops, wrong stock. 170 puts. Dang it. I was I was on MU. <laughs> so I closed those. All right, so 170 puts in Apple. Now I'm gonna wait and see if it pushes back up. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, Micron, closing another Micron. Build it 270. All right, so 170 puts. We're going to get a, I'm going to jump in here. Ah. I'm going to wait on Apple. See if we get a push up. A nice upside volume runner in Micron. I was hoping Apple like would push up just a little bit above where it was here. Then get rejected. Kind of like Square is trying to do. Amazon's got a little mighty 90 as well. Dang it, I would have jumped in that considering where it was. Now it's come down. I just saw it just a few seconds too late. So definitely some opportunities today. All right, Amazon, 185 puts. Come on, push up there. Push up. All right, jumping in. 
Build at 390. And I would close half at 4.30. Amazon would have been a nice one, darn it. I'm, not, I'm sorry, Apple would have been a nice one. <laughs> My screen was on MU. Too many screens going on. Uh, no, no, no certain amount of profit targets, John. It's all based on rules. So Amazon, two red bars out, Micron. Uh, it looks like it's wanting to pull back uh, and not continue upward, then I just close it. It's, it's kind of discretionary. Once you've booked profits, now there's a there's a definitely a mechanical mechanical out, which would have been if it pushed here below this pivot, really below right there. But so now I, I want Microsoft Micron to continue upward. I mean, it could have a little bit if it just pauses. I'll, I'll continue to wait. There's no sir. I mean, it depends. How many contracts I do for these strategies is based on the stock price, right? You know, I got in a uh, Roku at a buck. I got in an Amazon at 390. So the, the contracts are going to be different. I identify, you know, what it means to go small, medium, and large based on my account. Most of the time I go in medium, which for me is like two to $3,000 of buying power. And that's what everybody needs to make sure that they they have that identified in their account as well. Steve's chiming in. He's in an upside volume runner. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Had a big bar. Amazon now popping back up. I did not get out of half. I wanted it to come back. I wanted to book at least half out of that. And close another micron here. Build it to ninety. So Amazon. Gave me one red bar, could not give me two. Really wanted two before this pushed up. So, you always add to it. It's kind of setting just above where I got in, so. I'm not going to add to it yet. Man, what a winner in my in Micron. Beautiful.
Nvidia had a big volume bar. It's kind of pulling back. My uh, Amazon price. Yeah, it's just a little bit below where I where I got in. So <laughs> all right, Amazon pushing up. I would add to my Amazon at about like three fifty. Let's see where this goes before I do that. I'm going to add to Amazon. Build it 355 to add to Amazon. And now I would close half at 390, my original get it, my original price that I got in. So look for two consecutive red bars there. Out of Amazon. Still have several contracts in Micron. I might just close my Micron and book the profits. I think I'll do that. Before we get any pullback, build it 270 to close mic Micron. Just don't want to sit through a pullback here. It's pushed up pretty good. Nice winner. Booking profits. Beautiful winner. Beautiful winner. So just need a couple red bars out of Amazon. Apple never gave two green bars and now pushing up to highs of day. And you ended up pushing up through highs of day. So it's all right. I booked a nice winner in MU.
Yeah, I was tempted to get long NVIDIA. Probably should have. Amazon's still pushing up. Yeah, Microsoft really took off. Had a big volume bar. Didn't didn't really have I mean it had a little pullback, I guess. Not as much as I like to see. Dow up 79, NASDAQ up 60, S&P up 17. I'm assuming, what was the expected move for S&P? Yeah, I, I had mentioned that, Krish. Mentioned in video as well. So only thing I'm in is Amazon. I'm looking for a 390 close half. Two red bars. I mean, the VIX really got crushed. Still up, though. Still in the green, VIX is. Amazon came back down about where I entered. So, man, if I could just get one more push down after this one. Micron's still going. Anybody anybody hold on to either Micron? I, I should have maybe just held a couple of contracts. I had seven left. So, I was like, uh, if I get a pullback in Micron, I'm going to Lose a lot of profits. So I could have closed like five and then kept a couple on. <laughs> no, no, I was going to do the Apple trade, but I did the wrong stock. So I, then I got in Amazon instead of Apple. And remember I said, oops, and you guys questioned my strikes. John K up there. I, I, it was the wrong strikes because it was the wrong stock. And then, then it had come down on this red bar, so I wasn't going to get in then after it came down. So I jumped in Amazon. Micron, just chugging upward, man. Nobody held on to any Micron? Getting, uh, hopefully get one red bar here out of Amazon. Yeah, things look like they want to go higher. But, I mean, they can't go up forever. Micron, man. All right. Nobody got it. Nobody held any Micron. Um, Amazon's still going to give us one red bar.
close to 930 Central, so I don't think I'll get in any new trades. But we've got one red bar here on Amazon. I'd like to get one more, maybe push down, hit my profit target. And then book a nice green day. It's been a while since I've had this many trades. Come on, one more push down Amazon. One more good push down, please. You still got some stocks in the red, though. Costco down one and a quarter. Roku down 1%. Good Amazon. You can do it. And things look like they're a lot of things are still pushing up though. Great Amazon's gonna flip. Vix still coming down. Yeah. Don't like what I'm seeing. Come on down here, boys. That's enough push. Get rejected. Ah, darn it. Things just rocketing up. And Micron would have been already was a big winner for me. Thanks to a great ad. Microsoft through highs of day, Apple highs of day, square highs of day, micron highs of day. NVIDIA highs of day. Boy, that would have been a good upside runner. NVIDIA. I thought I'd have taken that one. NASDAQ highs of day. Yeah, no, no consolidation in any of the indices. And so oh, sassy blue angel. Yeah, I, no, I don't. It's too hard for me to have three or four of these trades going on and do iron condors as well. I, I've got to I gotta get completely off the live stream to even look at SPX. Yeah, if you see me on the live stream schedule in the morning, I'm not going to be doing any Iron Condors, uh, TLC Iron Condors. You know, I might do like that. I did the NDX one right when it opened, but 
it's just too much, too much to look at, try to process. So I always, I always move my TLC iron condors to when I'm done live streaming. Well, Amazon did not give us two consecutive red bars yet. No, it just wants to fire up. So I don't think I'm going to get any more trades. Uh, so Amazon, uh, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and wait for my two consecutive red bars. See, it, it, it's struggling a bit. So I, I think at some point there's going to be a little bit of a pullback. So use your discretion. But, you know, I like to follow the rules because when, when you follow the rules cons consistently over time, that's when you're profitable. If you're trying to deviate, um, you miss out on profits. So hopefully we can get uh, a nice two bar pullback here in Amazon and then I can get out. Looks like it's given me, I'll stay on here for this bar and see what happens. But as always, use your own discretion. Um, man, VIX, I got, I got, you got to think, I haven't even looked at SPX premiums, but you got to think that they're, Pretty, pretty, pretty narrow, huh? Man, I'm glad I didn't get in that Apple Mighty 90. It even has another Mighty 90. That's a pretty darn good setup. All right, well. I'm going to go ahead and just keep holding till I get two consecutive red bars. And I will post in the day trading chat channel when I am out of Amazon. So and that way I can kind of start looking at other trades for the day. So I'll see you back power hour. Peace.